uh, this is Dr. Karthika uh, from the Department of Biomedical Engineering, SNS College of Technology, Kaimutu. Today we are going to discuss about spatial filtering in biomedical image processing. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, we have uh, so many spatial filtering methods. First of all, uh, how it works? What do you mean by spatial filtering? Why do we need spatial filtering? Okay, here we can take an input image and uh, the area are mass processing methods. We can mask a certain area or region by using the spatial filtering techniques. And uh, after that, we can get the output image with a required filtering, with, with the required spatial filtering output. Here, uh, the formula is g of x comma y it is equal to transfer function of f of x comma y. f of x, x comma y is obviously your input image and g of x comma y it is your output image. Here, t operates on a neighborhood of pixels with the help of spatial filtering techniques here. Okay. In spatial filtering, uh, we can have uh, two main processes. First one is neighborhood, second one is operation. Neighborhood, uh, which pixel, which pixel to process, it is called neighborhood. Neighborhood. Operation, it is about how to process the pixels. Same example here. Same, we have uh, input image f of x comma y, output image g of x comma y. Here we have some spatial filtering techniques uh, to get the required filter output. Okay, uh, in spatial filtering neighborhood, usually it has a square shape, k cross k. We can call it as a window. For example, 3 cross 3 or 5 cross 5. See here. Here in this example, we can have a pixel, uh, pixel origin and also we have x comma y. This example, it shows the three cross the neighborhood of a x comma y. Uh, consider this, we can have a whole image, image f in a spatial domain. Uh, we have x and y axis for the image. Also, we have a origin. This k cross k, this matrix 3 cross 3, it shows the 3 cross 3 neighborhood of x comma y. A sample x comma y pixel is shown here. The, th uh, the 3 cross 3 neighborhood of x comma y is also plotted here. Okay, uh, spatial filtering operation and new values are uh, produced by processing the pixels in the window. It's stored at the corresponding center uh, location of the window in the input image. For example, uh, is that 5 it is equal to 5 is that 1 minus 3 is that 2 plus is that 3 minus is that 4 minus 2 is that 5 minus 3 is that 6 plus is that 8 minus is that 9 minus 9 is that 7 this example it will be it will be uh, the input image or the, the required input component it will be stored it will be uh, stored at the corresponding center of the location like the example input image in this example in the center it stores z1 z2 z3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 here also we can take 3 cross the neighborhood of a pixel okay uh, and also T operates on a neighborhood of pixels here. Okay. Uh, while, uh, while coming into linear versus non-linear filters, a filter is called a linear or non-linear when the operator being used in a non-linear or linear. Examples are shown here. Uh, while, uh, while doing a linear, uh, we can have a, a linear process. For example, Z5 uh, Z5 it is equal to 5 is at 1 minus 3 is at 2 plus is at 3 minus is at 4 minus 2 is at 5 minus 3 is at 6 plus is at 8 minus is at 9 minus 9 is at 7 it is a linear process we know that and the second example for Z5 it is equal to maximum of is at 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 it is a non-linear process And uh, two common linear operators are correlation and convolution. The output in a linear combination of the inputs. 
okay correlation it is a linear operator the output of a correlation is a weighted sum of the input pixels see this example the weights are defined in a k cross k mask has the same size of the window okay and uh, in correlation see this example often it is used in applications where we need to measure the similarity between the images or parts of the images for example template matching okay and the second example it is a simple template matching it does not work in most practical cases uh, but somewhat it works and uh, again uh, we are moving to the convolution a linear operator similar to the correlation except that the mask is first flipped to both horizontally and vertically here if uh, w of i comma j it is symmetric then convolution is equivalent to the correlation that is w of i comma j it is equal to w of minus i comma minus j here the convolution is equivalent to the correlation here uh, we have uh, examples for correlation and convolution matrices here we have a origin we have padded uh, af and we have initial position full correlation result and the cropped correlation result is shown here related omega full convolution result and the cropped convolution result in filter categories a smoothing it is also called low pass filters uh, we already discussed a short one it is also called a high pass filters now in smoothing filters low pass it is useful for reducing noise and removing small details the elements of the mass it must be positive the mask element sum to one see this example here it shows the 7 cross 7 gaussian mask here we have a input image and we have a smooth image the image is fully smooth and while coming into sharpening filters high pass filters it is useful for emphasizing fine details the elements of the mask it contains both positive and negative weights uh, whereas uh, a low pass filter it contains only positive elements the mask elements sum to zero but in uh, low pass the value is one see this example okay uh, this is an example for sharpening filters emphasize edges on an image it emphasize only ed edges in the image okay uh, here we have uh, input image and the sharpened image here see the results the image is fully sharpened for better visualization the original image is typically added to the sharpened image see this image how clarity is this okay and also we have some common smoothing filters averaging uh, it is also called as a linear filter gaussian filter linear filter and also we have median filtering non-linear filter and while coming into smoothing filters uh, averaging it plays a vital role and also we have uh, uh, averaging filter examples here the mass size it determines degree of smoothing loss in loss of detail original we have 3 cross 3 5 cross 5 7 cross 7 15 cross 15 and 25 cross 25 mask here the detail is lost for example extra extract largest brightest objects here we use 15 cross 15 averaging it results in image thresholding it extracts the largest and brightest objects and while coming to gaussian filters the mass weights are samples from a 2d gaussian function uh, it is uh, g sig uh, sigma of x comma y it is equal to 1 by 2 by sigma squared exponential minus x squared plus y squared by 2 sigma square here the mass size depends on sigma for example height it is equal to width it is equal to 5 sigma substance 98.76 percentage of the area uh, the image uh, the plot it is shown here 
and uh, this is an example for Gaussian filter. Here we have a small sigma. The output images uh, image has limited smoothing, and we have large sigma. Here we have strong smoothing. Okay. This shows averaging versus Gaussian smoothing. Here the input averaging and Gaussian smoothing. The output is a perfect smoothing. Okay, uh, in smoothing filters we have non-linear. Uh, in non-linear we have a median filtering. The very effective for removing salt and pepper noise, a random occurrence of black and white pixels, it is median filtering. See this. After averaging, we can get the exact input image, the exact original image by using median filtering. Okay, uh, in median filtering, it replaces each pixel by a median in a neighborhood around the pixel. The size of the neighborhood controls the amount of smoothing. Thank you.